And they lived happily ever after. Okay, bedtime, girls. Please, Dad, can we read another story, please? All right, but only one. Hooray! Well, what story do you want to read? Ooh, I know. How about Little Red Riding Hood? Okay, but I get to be Little Red Riding Hood. Okay, Bluey. All right, sounds good. Here we go. This is the story of Little Red Riding Hood. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who lived in a village near a big forest. Her grandmother made her a beautiful red cloak with a big red hood, which she wore every time she went outside. And so everyone in the village called her Little Red Riding Hood. Hi, Little Red Riding Hood. One day, Little Red Riding Hood's mother said, Grandma isn't feeling very well. Will you take this basket of food through the forest to her cottage? Okay, said Little Red Riding Hood. I sure would love to see Grandma. She put on her red cloak, she pulled up her red hood, and she took the basket of food into the forest. Remember! The mother called after her. No talking to strangers! I won't! Little Red Riding Hood promised, and she skipped down the path into the woods. Little Red Riding Hood didn't have to worry about getting lost in the forest, because she knew the way to Grandma's house very well. But along the way, she saw some beautiful wildflowers. We, we, I really wanted to be Little Red Riding Hood. Aw, but then who will I be? Well, you could always be the woodsman. He saves the day at the end. Hmm. Okay, Bingo, you can be Little Red Riding Hood. I'll be the woodsman. Yay, thanks, Bluey. All right, where was I? Okay, here we go. She saw some beautiful wildflowers growing near the path. Ooh, I bet Grandma will really like these. She said to herself, and she stopped to pick a few. Hello there, little girl, said a deep growling voice from behind her. Little Red Riding Hood was very startled. She spun around and saw a big bad wolf standing in the shadows between two trees. Hello, said Little Red Riding Hood. She did not know the wolf was bad, and she had already forgotten her mother's words about talking to strangers. Where are you going on this fine day? Asked the big bad wolf. I'm going to my grandma's cottage on the other side of the forest. Said Little Red Riding Hood. She is in fairing well, so I'm bringing her these baskets of food and these flowers. What a sweet girl you are, said the Big Bad Wolf. He smiled and showed off his mouth full of sharp teeth. The Big Bad Wolf was quite hungry, but he was not interested in the basket of food. I better be going, said Little Red Riding Hood. Goodbye, Mr. Wolf. And she skipped off down the path. The Big Bad Wolf's stomach grumbled and growled with hunger, and suddenly he had an idea. As quick as he could, he ran through the forest all the way to Grandma's cottage. The sneaky wolf opened the door very quietly and found Grandma asleep in her bed. He picked the old woman up, opened his great big mouth, and swallowed poor Grandma in one gulp. Then the big bad wolf climbed into bed and pulled the blankets up to his chin. He put on Grandma's nightcap and he waited for the little girl to arrive with her flowers and basket of food. When Little Red Riding Hood arrived at the cottage, she opened the door quietly and found Grandma lying in bed. Hello, Grandma. Mother told me you wasn't feeling well, so I bought you some food and some flowers. What a sweet girl you are, said the wolf in his fake grandma voice. Come closer, my dear. Little Red Riding Hood took a couple steps closer, and she noticed something looked a little different about Grandma. My, what big eyes you have, Grandma. All the better to see you with. Come closer, my dear. Little Red Riding Hood took a few more steps closer to the bed. My, what big ears you have, Grandma. I'm very impressed with your eyes to be able to see them under this nightcap. All the better to hear you with. Come closer, my dear. Little Red Riding Hood took just a few steps closer. <gasps> my! She said in surprise. What big teeth you have, Grandma. All the better to eat you with growled the big bad wolf. He jumped out of bed and he opened his great big mouth. Little Red Riding Hood shrieked and the hungry wolf grabbed her up and swallowed her in just one gulp. Outside the cottage, a woodsman happened to be walking through the forest when she heard Little Red Riding Hood shriek in surprise. She hurried inside to see the wolf in his huge round belly. The woodsman grabbed the big bad wolf, turned him upside down and shook him by the feet. Little Red Riding Hood came tumbling out of the wolf's mouth and Grandma followed. The three of them chased the big bad wolf out of the cottage and out of the forest and the big bad wolf ran for his life and he was never seen again.
Little Red Riding Hood learned her lesson, and she never, ever talked to strangers after that. The end. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.